All right, welcome back, guys. So, um, I got all the plastic off of the uh, Razor electric dirt bike, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little dual angle sanding sponge. I got fine. Um, I just wanna put a little bit of a scuff on these parts before I hit them with some spray paint. So um, I have the plastic paint. It says that it adheres to plastic without any priming or prep or anything, but uh, can't hurt to give it a little scuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back to paint. All right, so we're finished sanding. And as you can see, or maybe not, um, the sponge was just enough grit to take the shine off of the plastic. So that'll give the paint a little something to adhere to and hopefully um, increase our chances of it staying on there instead of peeling. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit everything with uh, some degreaser, get it nice and cleaned up with the brush and let it dry thoroughly before I hit it with some spray paint. So we'll go ahead and do that and uh, come back to you once it's time to start painting. All right, so these parts have been scuffed to take the sheen off. They've been degreased, washed, and dried. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit them with uh, some light passes of spray paint. This is just some Rust-Oleum um, that I had laying around in the garage. It happens to be the same red, um, so that I only have to paint the sides that show and it won't uh, be blatantly obvious. It says that it bonds to plastic, so we're gonna see. Using this uh, cardboard box here is a makeshift paint piece because the last thing I want to do is uh, ruin my garage floor epoxy. Our first coat, they look better already. We'll let that dry and put a couple more on. All right, so the first round of pieces are done. You can see uh, what a difference it is compared to the plastic originally. So now it's time to do the main body. I went ahead and covered the seat up with some painter's tape so that I don't get any red on that. Same procedure, two or three nice, even light coats and then should be about ready for a reassembly. All right, so we are done with painting. Um, went ahead and gave the uh, chain guard a nice coat of satin black, and I peeled off the tape on the seat. Look how good this came out. I don't know how durable it's gonna be, but it looks great right now. And I'll probably throw some uh, stickers on there. So uh, gonna start putting things back together. Got the chain all lubed up. Um, cleaned up the battery cover. I went ahead and put those uh, finished pieces back on. So it's looking good, just about ready to ride. All right, here it is, all finished. It's been all taken apart, thoroughly cleaned, repainted, re-lubed, tightened up some of the wiring with some zip ties, and it is good to go.
really happy with how the paint came out. Looks great. I'll probably uh, see if I can find some cool stickers online or something to put on there. But I'm really happy with how it came out. Now I just gotta get my kids to ride it. Unfortunately, neither of them have mastered the art of two wheels yet. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna try to find a, a pair of training wheels, see if I can pick some up from uh, a neighbor or something whose kids have already moved on past them before I take them off of their bikes. But uh, looking at the back here, I should be able to slap on a pair of training wheels pretty easily and uh, that'll get them going. So uh, once I can get a hold of those, we'll post another update. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more random stuff.